Hello Excel Gladiators, welcome back to another video. Excel tip number seven is VLOOKUPS. So VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup. It's an Excel function and it looks for a specified value by searching for it vertically across the sheet. All right, so let's jump on into VLOOKUPS. In this first example, we're going to be using a VLOOKUP to pull in which house these students belong to. So to do this, um, column B, we're going to use the VLOOKUP to bring in their house from the student roster tab. So in the student roster tab, we have every single student, and then we have which house they belong to. So the easiest way of pulling in the student's house would be to use a VLOOKUP. So we'll go to the function and then we will select VLOOKUP. The lookup value will be their full name. The table array will be the student roster. So we're going to select just column C and column D. So important note for VLOOKUPs, when you select this table, you want to make sure the leftmost column will match what you're looking up. So we're looking up the full name. So the first column in this table will be the full name. And then column index number will be you can see right here it says looks for value leftmost column of the table returns a value in the same row from the column you specify by default the table must be sorted in ascending order so column index number is the column number in the table array from which the matching value should be returned the first column of values in the table is column one so going back to here um, this is going to be just a number. So this is column one. This is column two. We want column two to be returned. So I will put column two. You can see it. it's going to return Slytherin um, for the first student. The range lookup in this case will be false because we want exact matches. True would give us an approximate match. And we'll get to that later in this video but it's seldom used and in most cases VLOOKUPs will be exact matches so we will select OK and then you can double click here or drag it down to bring down the VLOOKUP formula so now using the VLOOKUP formula we quickly found which house each student belonged to you're a wizard, Harry. Okay, so in the second example, we're using VLOOKUPs with approximate matches instead of exact matches. So this is more rarely used, but I found it to be useful in some circumstances, and this is one of them. So we will create a random OWL score, basically their number grade using this rand between function. We'll do 30 as the lowest, 100 as the highest possible score. And note this chain, this formula um, changes every time it recalculates. So I want to copy paste these values. So we just did that. And then we're going to be using these scores to determine their letter grades. Um, so using the Hogwarts grading scale, we're going to use the lookup function. Lookup value will be their OWL score. Table array will be in the grading scale. So we want to select the grading scale and make sure the first column is score and then 
column index number will be two because we want to return a second column, their grade. So make that two and then make this range look up true because we're not going to have exact matches for all these scores. We just basically have a grading scale. So we have 0, 0 to 49 would be troll. Troll grade 50 to 59 would be dreadful, 60 to 69 would be poor, 70 to 79 would be acceptable, 80 to 89 would be exceeds expectations, and then 90 and above would be outstanding, and for approximate VLOOKUPs you want to make sure that this is sorted in ascending order. So goes lowest to highest. That's very important for approximate VLOOKUPs. So as you can see the first um, the first student score will bring in exceeds expectations. That's 80 to 89 and that is the case. They have an 88. So I will drag this down and now we have all the letter grades based on their scores using an approximate match VLOOKUP formula. And then lastly, we want to determine if they passed or failed. Um, so we could use approximate match or exact match to do that. Um, we have this grading scale here. So I think I will use exact match, so basically use a VLOOKUP, it'll look up the grade, and then it'll look up whether the grade is associated with pass-fail. So I'll do that really quickly. VLOOKUP, lookup value, table array, do column B, column C. Doesn't matter if you select the table or the, the columns, really. And we're going to bring in the second column, which was pass fail. Range lookup will be false. So now we have pass or fail as well as a grade. And just like that, we used exact match VLOOKUPs and approximate match VLOOKUPs in the same example. So alternatively, to find the pass-fail, you can also use this VLOOKUP formula that pulls in exceeds expectations and just change the column index number to 3. So I'll copy it over, paste it, and then change it to 3 to bring in the third column which is pass fail on the grading scale. And then you could just double click, bring that down. And that's another way of finding pass fail. So that is really it for today's video. Um, we have all the scores. Um, we'll do largest to smallest, see if you got the highest score. Um, Ginny Weasley and Padma Batil got perfect hundreds and Luna Lovegood, Roger Davies got the lowest score. Let's see where Harry is, 78, that sounds right. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully learned a thing or two. Um, hopefully you can implement VLOOKUPs in your Excel um, files. And to leave you guys off, I'll post a, a funny video from Hogwarts Legacy. I hope you enjoy. Gladiator out. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm.
perhaps, yes. A rare wood sounds fun. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. A carrot!